Salve, fellow YouTubers! Night of the Monster Mike here once again. And since today is July 7th, 2017, even though this series debuted October 1st in 1967, well, this year does commemorate the 50th anniversary of this character, so... Seven, seven, seven... Seven, seven, seven! Seven, seven, seven! If you know what I'm talking about, well, okay, here he is. My Lego creation of Ultra 7, the second Ultra in the Ultra franchise. One of Ultraman's brothers in arms. Uh, forgive me, I have not really seen Ultra 7. I do know about his capsule monsters and that he mostly fought aliens instead of kaiju. And uh, he's kind of more of like the, way more of the brawn of the Ultras, you know? In my, just, it is kind of my opinion. But I do know that some of his weapons include, like, the Eye Slugger, which is basically this, uh, sort of, uh, blade-like th thing from his head crest that he can remove and swing it around, slice opponents, and, of course, this beam from his, uh, green color timer on his forehead. I do also know that he has a son, Ultra S Ultraman Zero, and he's appeared quite fr frequently in the Ultra series. And I also know Deadzilla has a bit of a is has a bit of a soft spot for Ultra 7. So, I digress. Uh, most of the pieces came from various Lego sets, uh, like Lego Creator. Yeah. And I think maybe Lego Star Wars off maybe I I'm not entirely I don't I forget. For posability, he's posable in the shoulders and the elbows. So in terms of sizing, he's basically like, you know, typical six inches tall. It's basically the same uh, build for all of my LEGO Ultras or any other humanoid Ultra or any humanoid figure. So let's bring out some of his monsters. Uh, I do know that he did originally fight this guy, Elekang, another one of my one of my personal favorite Ultras, along with Gomera, uh, Sud uh, Demaga, and Red King, and Natsuna Meru. See, I like the way this looks. Elekang is supposed to be a lot bigger than Ultra Seven, so yeah, this works. Let's bring out some of the capsule monsters, like Agita. Uh, yeah, I think this this is okay. Agita is more or less this height compared to Ultra Seven. Correct me if I'm wrong. Next, Windom, and. I think Windom is supposed to be this tall, maybe a little bit shorter. Sorry guys, I haven't really been focusing on Ultra 7 in quite a while. But, yeah. Sorry. Okay, yeah. And finally, Miklos. Yeah, I like this, I like the way this looks. This looks okay. Next, next let's bring out his son, Ultraman Zero. And yeah, yeah, this yeah, this definitely works. I like this the way this works out. Cause they're more or less the same height. And just to give you guys a better idea how big this is, let's compare it to a Lego minifigure like uh, Owen Grady, portrayed by Chris pr Pratt from the original from the Jurassic World Lego sets. Or for later or for uh, kinda like the new trend. Lego Batman. Lego Batman. Sorry. Yeah, Lego Batman. And you know me, my monster, Dralagon. Well, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Hit the like button if you like the video, and if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, happy happy birthday, Ultra 7. 
I know it may be a little bit early, but hey, just in case before I forget. So until then, this has been 93 Monster Mike. Wale.